protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com It has been a dizzying first 10 days of the Donald Trump presidency. In fact, I can barely even keep up. I wished Donald Trump Godspeed when he became the president. I didn't think he could actually attain it. I'm joined in studio by Maggie Howell to talk about some of these executive orders. But Maggie, it really, really uh, has been a whirlwind. It's crazy. I don't think the man eats or sleeps. Uh, you talk about Godspeed. We're just going to go over a few of the executive orders that he's passing. I want to take you through some of these quickly. So the most controversial one, and today, by the way, it marked uh, at 10, 10 o'clock today, his 10th day in office officially. And I've got to tell you, the one drawing the most controversy, of course, is this executive order imposing a 120-day suspension on the refugee program and a 90-day ban from citizens from seven terror hotspots. Now, I want to take you to these hotspots because they are identified by the Obama administration, not the Trump administration, and the most populous countries on the earth with the heaviest uh, populations of Muslims. They're not on this list, folks. It's just countries that we know of that are responsible for jihadi terrorism and terrorism breeding. So he's imposed this ban, and uh, before we get to the rest of the, of the executive orders, I just want to talk about the span for a moment because that's that's gaining the most steam today of anything. Uh, we're talking about um, this list and just to, just to make this known in 2011, President Barack Obama banned all Iraqi refugees from entering for six months. So this uh, temporary ban getting the most steam, Iraq, Iran, Syria, Libya, Yemen, Somalia and Sudan. Now, Going on, because he's done a lot this week, uh, we're, we're going to be withdrawing from the Trans-Pacific Partnership. We know that. Um, he's called for an order to reinstate the so-called Mexico City policy, which is a ban on federal funds to international abortions. We're not going to be funding those any longer. And that's been a political football back and forth between Democrats and Republicans over the years. That's right. I know that you've covered the pro-life mm -hmm. movement that was happening in Austin. And look, the bottom line is a lot of people have a moral issue with funding abortion abroad. And... Here, for that matter. Um, two orders reviving the Keystone XL pipeline and Dakota Access pipelines in order to lengthen the ban on administration officials working as lobbyists. This is critical. And a lifetime ban on White House officials as lobbyists. He doesn't want to see people using their positions of service to gain a lot of money afterwards and influence because it's not really fair. So that's great. An order uh, imposing a hiring freeze for some federal government workers as a way to shrink uh, the, the massive bureaucracy. Also, Owen, something that I loved, I covered this this morning, he told the Pentagon, look, you guys got 30 days to come up with a plan to defeat ISIS, put something on my desk, and then he calls President Putin. He's had a very busy week. It's very amazing. Week. I mean, he's constantly on the phone. He's constantly having meetings. And I think the amazing part of it is that he's doing it all for the American people to see where there's a camera he's in the Oval Office. Online. He's putting everything he does up online. If you want to read his executive orders, all you have to do is go to the White House website. They're giving you a rundown, a play-by-play -play of everything he's up to, to the letter. You mentioned that cam in the office, mm -hmm. and he doesn't even need it. All he needs to do is tweet, in my opinion. You know, it's like watching a live cam of uh, what a president should be doing. He's done more in the past 10 days than President Barack Obama has done for, you know, in the past eight years in terms of for the American people uh, looking at this. And, and certainly... He's done it transparently. Mm -hmm. I think that is a very important thing that can be a nonpartisan way of looking at this if right. we can try to quit being in the hyper-politicized world that we live in. But of all these executive orders, I have to say most of them I, I, I agree wholeheartedly with. with. I, I love getting out of the TPP. I think that the move he made to try to block all of the lobbying that happens in the after the political careers of some of these people to get into the White House, I think that's a great move. Uh, maybe aggressive with the Dakota pipeline. The travel ban obviously caught a lot of flack, but I think he kind of used a 3D chess move, and I'm going to talk about that later in the news because, like you said, it was actually Obama's list. Mm -hmm. So now he's kind of forcing the left to look in the mirror and be like, well, wait a second, okay. He's actually, I guess, taking advice from the Obama administration, essentially, on this one. You got Chuck Schumer having a fake nervous breakdown over this list, uh, actually crying. Uh, you know, my uh, the embarrassment that I felt personally for him watching it Different segment entirely, but you have a... He a really has embarrassed himself. Oh, man, a like, mischaracter. You're the buddy. Oh, pull man. it together, Seriously, man. Yeah. First of all, 
Barack Obama in 2011, the longest imposition of a ban, six months long. This is a 90 day ban and 120 day suspension while we reassess who we're letting in because as we know, uh, we're taking in people that are, pro that are coming from countries that are breeding grounds for al-Nusra, al-Qaeda and, uh, and uh, ISIS. Let's, well, let's take a step back here and let's look at all the executive orders again. And, and I'm trying to look at this for a second from a nonpartisan view. Okay, so he puts out all these executive orders, obviously a lot coming down the pike. Uh, for somebody like me who complained about all the executive orders Obama was filing, I have to look at this and I have to say, okay, well, you know, Trump's kind of doing the same thing. But a lot of them I agree with. Here's the thing. So, and that's the kicker. And I love that that's where you took us because this regulatory freeze, for example, that's happening today, he signed an executive order at 1030. He's promising to eliminate for every regulatory uh, imposition he puts into place, for example, and this affects businesses, he's going to eliminate two. And he said for any agency head that wants a regulation, you got to come up with two to eliminate. So guess what? The budget for regs for 2017 is going to be zero dollars. It's not even gonna cost anything, Owen. I've, I've gotta take you to one more because it's my favorite. I know we're running out of time here. The prolonged order on border security and immigration enforcement. Of course, we're talking about the wall. We know that that's coming. <laughs> the stripping of federal grant money for sanctuary city, cities, hiring 5,000 more border patrol catch and release, uh, or hopefully they'll just be catching at this point, forgive my slip. And he's implementing, he's putting into place policies uh, for illegal aliens residing in these communities to reinstate local and state immigration laws. Let me guess, let me get this straight. He, there's a new sheriff in town. He wants to enforce the law on the books. He's not doing anything outrageous. The mainstream media is completely mischaracterizing him. It's been an epic week for small businesses. He wants to jumpstart the economy, remove and strip you know, these needless regulations. And the man has practically do done this before lunch today, by the way, you know, the, the stimulation. And this pipeline, whether you agree with it or not, you know, it does have a lot of controversy. We love the earth. We don't wanna see the earth go to you know what? But the fact of the matter is we're talking about 28,000 people that are not employed or underemployed. They're gonna be able to stand on their own two feet and feed their kids. This is a big deal for hurting people in this area who don't have any money, 28,000. We're talking about good jobs. These are not Starbucks jobs, people. These are good jobs. Most of them are in construction. We know that those are well-paid jobs with benefits. And uh, you know, I got my hats off to them. I know we're, we're supposed to hold the leadership uh, their feet to the fire, so to speak. I have never been more proud of my country than I am in this moment because we finally have somebody that's working for the American people. On tomorrow's agenda, we could see a SCOTUS appointment. And that is incredibly significant because we know that Barack Obama, he, he tried to throw up someone at the, at the 11th hour. They've been holding on to Scalia's seat. And uh, we could see a historic move being made tomorrow as well. He's not wasting any time. Day and 11. And when he looks at the Dakota pipeline and the wall, I think that jobs is what's on his mind. Mm -hmm. I think that that's why he says, I'm getting the pipeline done, I'm getting the wall done because it's gonna create jobs. And thankfully for all the people that have been protesting the pipeline and you know standing up for Mother Earth, guess what? The, the, they are not going to do anything that is going to harm the earth when they build this thing. They're gonna take every measurement to avoid as much damage to planet earth when they do this thing because of all those protests. At least that's what you would assume. Now again, we'll find out. But hey, even with the wall, I think if you just follow the law, let border control do their job, then you don't need a wall. I've never been, been a big fan of the wall. But again, I think Donald Trump looks at it like, hey, you know what, this will increase border security, it will produce jobs, I'm gonna get the American people back to work, and that's why he signed these other executive orders. And another thing though, real quick, that's nonpartisan, he's keeping his promises. Mm -hmm. That's he a fact. He absolutely is keeping the promises to the American people that he made. And he's using American steel, folks, uh, that's what he's calling for with this pipeline which means that we're gonna be buying American products and using them here in America. What a revolutionary idea. Uh, I couldn't be happier about the direction that he's taking the federal agencies, the direction, relieving the regulatory burdens and trimming the fat. You know, we've been so disgusted with Washington, the wasteful spending that comes out of these massive, defunct bureaucratic arms. They're like, you know, the, go the goblin, if you will. They just consume, 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 never produce. He's trimming the fat. We know that we saw a moratorium placed on the EPA, a hiring freeze for some federal government workers. Well, he finds out what we need 
and what we don't. It's really, really simple. This is basic stuff here. This is not, uh, you know, he's not what they're trying to paint him to be, folks. He just wants to see the American workers stand on their own two feet. Stop buying from for in the TPP. Hats off to you. I've been covering that for what three years now. Finally, about time. About time. Sorry. Donald Trump is like a Tasmanian devil in chief <laughs> with everything he's able to accomplish. But he's keeping his promise to the people that elected him, and that is undeniable. In case you haven't heard, InfoWars has become the most influential media outlet in America. We're making freedom go viral. And now we are proud to announce a new weapon in the epic battle against the globalist. InfoWars Prime, where you can watch live high definition feeds of the Alex Jones Show, plus exclusive insider videos from the InfoWars crew and behind the scenes action. Go to InfoWars.com forward slash app and download today. InfoWars Prime is available right now for your iPhone or Android. You will have access to exclusive videos that you can't see anywhere else. And that means live coverage of events and breaking news on location as it happens. You can also take advantage of amazing deals from the InfoWars store that are only available for InfoWars Prime subscribers. That's InfoWars Prime at InfoWars.com forward slash app. If you can hear my voice, you are the resistance.